Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mary Jo with your new moon in Capricorn reading for January 9th or 10th, 2016, depending on what hemisphere you live in. I'm using the wild wisdom of the fairy oracle, since the fairies are an earth um, creature and mystical uh, being. And the Capricorn energy is that of earth in this new moon. I chose this deck as an oracle and surround myself with things of the earth to enhance my desires that I am planting the seeds of today to manifest into my life. The Gossamer Princess speaks of communication, relationships, and work to be done. As you can see, the fairy sits on a spider web. Literally, she's like hanging by a thread and she's contemplating. The butterflies surround her are a hint of a new life calling her. But at this time, I think we are thinking about what's going on in our lives right now. There have been some breakdowns or breakups. Is this something we want to rebuild? Is this something that we want to repair? Like a spider every day tending to her web, we need to tend to those things in our lives also that sustain us, family, friends, loved ones, even co-workers. At this time we are thinking, all the work that I've put into this, I'm looking for something more. And the number 12 reduces to three. So it looks like work has been done in this situation in your life but more work and planning needs to be done. So at this time, those strands seem so delicate and thin, you have to remember that they are strong indeed. That's like the bonds in our lives and the loved ones in our lives. When a spider spins her web, it can withstand wind, rain, and storms, and damage, even ice and burning sun. It just takes a gentle reweaving each day just like relationships and connections in our lives that have great strength to endure. Intending these things, you recreate and perhaps repair and making it better and stronger than before. So I'm looking at this as there are things in our lives that some of us are thinking, should we tend to this to repair? Have things happen as a breakdown between you and a, a career path, a job, a loved one, a friend, family member, uh, children, even with students, things that they are doing and learning. Are there things that you need to tend to to add more tender loving care to? Maybe your relationship might be separating right now or under stress right now. You have a falling out with somebody or maybe the person is really not worthy of you in your life. You need to look at these things and see what's more important for you to tend to, to repair, and what is time to just put your energy into something else. And even if it's that repairing that part of ourselves that needs tending to. Sometimes you have to wait for someone else to make the first move to communicate. Um, sometimes it's up to you to this is a time that there are many possibilities to recreate and reweave a stronger network around you and in your life. Sometimes it's about endings or gentle separations too. Ending some part of our life and changing things is just a phase we go through like the seasons from one stage to another. So look at that at this time as to what is time to repair and what is time to let go of. Then we have to put behind you, we have scared to fly. This is the right moment, sensing out the right timing. It's number 18 and that reduces to nine, which is the vibrational number that we are in 2016. So we know it's a time of endings, but we see that the maiden, the fairy is scared to fly. She's clinging to the tree what is it that we're holding on to afraid to go forward and do right now? We feel like it's not the right time. Maybe we're waiting. 
Maybe you're thinking about something for quite a long time. You know, the, the surrounding card looks like spring is on its way, you know, but it's not there yet. And there's that orange tone to it. So we know that's the empowerment within us in our sixth chakra. And the, the moon, well, that's actually the sun, excuse me, behind her is yellow with spirit lighting the way. So it's saying right now, it looks like some of us have been thinking about making a change in our lives, but we're not ready yet. Maybe we feel helpless and we're still clinging to the old because it's our security blanket. Maybe some of us don't have an option and we're afraid to let go and move forward. Some of us maybe are too daring and impetuous and, and look to like leave the nest or jump into the next situation without truly thinking it through. So it looks like for some of us, it's a time of us to just wait, to lie and wait for divine timing. We have the ideas, we have the desire, we have the energy that we want to go, but maybe this isn't the right time for us to do it yet. Wait a little bit longer, especially Mercury is in retrograde. So there are differences with communications and timing. Maybe you can wait until after the 25th, give it another couple of weeks and see, especially with this moon phase, we are talking about new beginnings coming. So maybe you can just hold on right now a little while longer before you can let go, spread your wings and fly. And if you're feeling a little trepidatious about it, trust that inner voice. It doesn't matter what other people are telling you that you should do this or take this leap of faith or naysayers telling you, oh, I wouldn't do this if I were you. This is a time that you need to trust what's within you. You know, in that new moon, new moon phase, it's very critical. And it talks about that part of us that we need to face and embrace the negative things about ourselves. Work on that right now. In this moment of stillness, in this time that you're not prepared to fly or you don't know what to do or you're afraid to make the move, or even if some of you are feeling very impetuous, in this moment of stillness, just be. Hold on and just be, because with that state of being, we get to know ourselves even more. Contemplate what's led up to everything in this point to now. Why you're feeling this way before you do want to let go and move on. Even if we know that it's best for us, look at everything that's happened up to now with this person or place or situation or thing that's been going on. And where have you grown from it? What have you learned from it? What lessons and life experiences have you accumulated, even people that you have met along the way or observed that you could take with you so that when you are ready to fly and the timing is right, you have a clear state of being where you're balanced and harmonized, clear headed and focused to make the right choice to let go and fly, spread your wings and soar. Then we have with the welcoming in our desires and wishes, we have the story keeper, which is number four. And four is about the completion. So that's the progression we had with the scared to fly and the gossamer princess. Now the story keeper, tell your story, legacy, and write your wisdom. This is a time for you to feel who you really are. Share your story. You recognize that things that have happened in your life and have put you where you are are all part of what you have been and been through. If you don't like what's going on in your life right now, it's the time for you to shift and change. You can rewrite the story of your life. You know, oftentimes people say, I, I don't like what's going on in my life. You know, I wish I could rewrite it. Well, you can. Every day is a new opportunity. Time for you to recreate imagine and bring into your life the change start within yourself that shift and as you shift you will feel things shifting around you you, may, you need to start internally before anything external can manifest in your life the first thing you need to do is manifest change within yourself changing up your energy your thought patterns the way you're feeling and since this is capricorn earth energy i'm going to say it's everything to do with the way that you are physically behaving in your life in this physical body you have your heart mind soul the physical feelings so your thoughts have to change your feelings have to change your words have to change the things that you do your actions all embodied in this physical are all the elements the things that we wish to manifest will come to us 
but we need to start with manifesting change within ourselves. So at this time of the new moon, as you plant your new seeds, literally write it down and plant it in the dirt or in a plant in your house and nurture it and love it, care for it, watch it grow so that you could bring forth the changes within yourself. Catch yourself every time you start thinking of something negative or down and redirect your thoughts. Ground yourself daily to Gaia. Plant your feet on the ground. Rub your feet into your carpet or your tile or out in the grass or the sand or the dirt. Ground yourself. Stabilize yourself. And know that you can change. You can start with yourself. Change within yourself. Reground, rebalance, redirect. I hope this reading helps you and I hope you have a wonderful new moon in Capricorn. I will see you for the weekly reading during the week. And thank you again for all the new subscribers and everyone who's been sharing. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. As always, I wish you the best.